and welcome to this old arcade. I'm Tim. Today we're going to do a little bit of uh, board work here. Um, we've got a police trainer board here. Uh, got this board a few months ago, haven't had a chance to work on it. Plugged it in and um, the screen is just jumbled. It's flipping all over the place horizontally and vertically. Uh, so suspecting I was missing the sync signal uh, I was able to trace it back to um, a faulty uh, 7432 surface mount uh, chip here. It's a quad uh, two input OR gate. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process of um, how I determined where the chip was and uh, we'll go ahead and, and replace it. So uh, let's uh, plug it in my tester here and we'll look at the, uh, the symptom. Put this on and I'll give you a look at the screen here. Metro Police Academy Trainer version 1.5. This is an old um, <laughs> Electric G07 monitor. It's been a Galaga and maybe some other games. Okay, you can see um, the graphics as it's starting to warm up here. It's uh, it's just kind of flipping around and and all over the place. Let me turn my my studio light off here so you can see it better. There. Um, yeah, it's just going crazy. So we're going to take a look at that um, sync signal coming out of the board and kind of trace it back to where it should be going. All right, so i um, got my fluke meter here. I'm gonna set this to um, continuity test. So we've got a little tone there. I'm gonna use the JAMA harness here. Um, I've got my video sync here. It just happens to be a white wire. I'm gonna put my lead in there. Then I'm going to go to the uh, output pin on the 7432 chip here. I'll give you a close-up look at this in a second. And it's pin 6 there, so I've got continuity. Uh, I know I'm going from pin 6 of, uh, oh, what is this here? It's U19. Yeah, U19. That goes right up to my uh, my video sync output up top there. So um, let me give you a closer look at this 7432 here. Okay, I think I can get that with the camera now. That's close enough. All right, so we've got uh, pin one here on the left, two, three, four, five, and six. Six is that output. Pins four and five are inputs. So we're gonna take a look at uh, four, five, and six on our um, a waveform monitor and kind of see what signals coming in and what's going out or not going out. All right, so we'll get our waveform monitor on here. Metro Police Academy trainer Test version here. one point five. Have this test probe grounded here. All right. So let's see if you can make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Going out of uh, pin six, I've got 
Nothing. Zero. And then pin five, you can see I've got my sync signal out of pin five. And pin four, I've got sync signal also. So um, according to the logic on an OR gate, if I have an input on A or B, I should have something coming out of the output, which I don't. So um, at this point, uh, we're going to pull this chip off and um, uh, float a new one on there and see if that fixes our problem. All right, so um, I had these shipped in from um, it's Vegas Electronics LLC in Henderson, Nevada, off of eBay. Uh, I think it was maybe like eight or nine bucks free shipping, and I got ten of these things, uh, the 7432s. This is part of the reason why there's almost no parts houses left in the Phoenix area. Because uh, you can get the stuff dirt cheap, um, really quick for free shipping. So, anyhow, uh, we're heating up our soldering iron, and we're gonna we're gonna pull this chip off of here. I don't mind doing these smaller surface mount chips like this. Uh, it's not too hard to do with a good good hand iron or pencil iron. Um, but the larger surface mount stuff, I don't have the equipment to do. I, I don't like to touch it, but something small like this uh, isn't, isn't a problem. All right, let me get you a closer up view here. All right, I'm going to try to do my best to keep my hands out of the way while I'm doing this here so you can see what's going on. But I'm going to lay this desoldering wick flat the iron good and hot run it along there and remove the solder as we go. Try to get some on the other side. material off there. Heat up one side gently. Start to pry up one side here. There we go. Got one side off. And I'm going to a little pressure the other direction on the other side as we heat this up. Here we go. Popped right on. Oh. A little. The part here wanted to just grab a hole. We're going to have to clean that up, clean the pads up with the wick. So, there's my, 
There's my old chip right there. And clean that pad, those pads off. I'm just use the same process. Clean part of the wick. Let's take a closer look at those pads with the camera here. Or not, I'm zoomed all the way in. So, I'll bring the board closer to the camera. Let's see if it'll go into macro. get into macro. Okay, well, we tried. <laughs> All right. So, the new chip here. Put you back. You can see here. Just have to pay attention to um, The positioning, make sure our pin one is on the side of the, the notch. There's a little notch right there. Ah, where am I? Okay, yeah. Right there, in, indicating this is pin one over here. Okay. It's really hard doing this without somebody else operating the camera. All right. Now these new chips are my nicely marked. There's a little dot where pin one is, right over here. So I know exactly where to line that up. This is the hardest part, putting them back in, or at least getting them lined up. <clears throat> I like to uh, attach diagonal corners to get them secured. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to lightly dab some solder in one of the corners. The chip may shift a little bit, but I can reposition it if it's only one or two pins connected. And of course it shifted on me. There we go. I'm use my little screwdriver to hold it in place. Okay, get the other side started here.
I'm not going to be completely careful in putting the solder back on. Ugh, the camera went out of focus. Because <clears throat> I can go back and clean it up a little bit with my desoldering wipe. Eliminate any shorts. I'm going to go back and just kind of double check everything. Seems to be all right. I'm going to clean this back side up a little bit. Just got a little too sloppy there. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to bring out the huge magnifying glass and see what I've done here. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. That actually looks pretty darn good. Okay. Very, very good. <clears throat> Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and test this back out. All right, so I've got my board plugged in. We're going to flip on the monitor. Metro Take a look at. Uh, Pin six here on U19, and I've got sync coming out of pin six. Four, five. Okay, good, good. And <laughs> it's uh, it's already better here. It's we've got vertical sync, and my horizontal is. Kind of flipping around a little bit. Um, I'm gonna guess that's a problem with the um, sink sink input on this old monitor. I'm gonna go around back with my mirror and uh, my plastic adjusting tools and see if I can get that horizontal to to sink in a little bit better. But that's definitely a good improvement. Got these little plastic monitor adjusting tools. All right, I'll go around here. frequency. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to put it into the other sink input. So I just needed to switch the sink and put on the monitor. <laughs> and of course I think the screen flip is because it was in a, a mirrored uh, cabinet like a um, lethal enforcers, which uh, in fact that's what we're going to do with this board. I've got an old lethal enforcers cabinet. We're going to put it in there and uh, fix that game up and play some police trainer. Uh, it's a fantastic game if you've never uh, played it before. Uh, but anyhow, 
Hopefully this will be helpful to anyone that has a similar problem uh, dealing with a, uh, a sync input. This uh, waveform monitor, it's, um, it's not a standard oscilloscope, it's um, uh, off of a, out of a broadcast truck. I've got a, a vector scope and waveform monitor used for um, NTSC uh, video, but we just used it in this case to look for the sync signal. Uh, anyhow, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, thanks for joining us here at this old arcade.